Suck, and in this video we will be looking at the quadratic formula. So first of all, it's important to know what the quadratic formula is. And it's x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So you have to learn this, so make sure you take time to jot this down and remember what it is. Now if we look at what the b, the a and the c actually are, is the a is going to be the coefficient of the first one. So in this question, I'm going to do it in a minute, the a is that, so a is 1. Then b is going to be 7 because it's the second one and c is 10. Now remember, if this was written differently as 10 um, plus 7x plus x squared, it would still be exactly the same because it starts off with the highest power of x first all the time. But normally this is how you would see it written. So if you go on to actually working this one out, and normally with this one you wouldn't actually have to use the quadratic formula, but I thought I would start off with an easy one before we go on something which you have to use the quadratic formula. So in order to use the quadratic formula for this one, you will do minus 7, because that's the minus b, then plus or minus, then we're going to do the root 7 squared, because that's b squared, minus 4 times by a, which is just 1, but I'll put that in for the sake of it, and then times by c, which is going to be 10, and that's all square rooted that bit there, and this is going to be all over 2 times 1, which is going to be 2. So this can obviously be simplified, that's not going to be your final answer, but this can be simplified to minus 7 plus or minus root, and then we'll add everything, so 7 squared is 49, minus 40 is going to be 9, now as you can see this is looking nice already, and then that's going to be over 2, again this can be simplified to minus 7 plus or minus 3 over 2, and this is going to give you your two answers, because minus 7 plus 3 um, is going to be equal to minus 4, so minus 4 divided by 2 is going to be equal to minus 2, and that's one of your answers. And then your second answer is going to be minus 7 minus 3 is going to be equal to minus 10, minus 10 divided by 2 is equal to minus 5. Now as I said before, you could have worked this out just by factorising the quadratic, which would have got x plus 5 and then x plus 2 and that would give you your answer straight away. However, for the sakes of this, it is much easier. Now I would mean this would normally be equal to zero, and that's when you would actually solve it to get your answers there when that is equal to zero, and this will be equal to zero here. So here we have a slightly harder example, which you are more likely to see at A level. And this one is 0.6t squared plus 12.1t minus 73.6 is equal to 0. So automatically, you can tell that this one is going to be slightly harder. So the way we're going to work this out is exactly the same, however. We're going to say that this one here is a, so the coefficient of a is 0.6, b is equal to 12.1, and c is equal to minus 73.6. Now just remember, your, uh, one of the main things you can trip up on this is by getting your minuses mixed up. And obviously if it's a minus b, then you would square it to get a positive number. So just make sure you don't fall up on that, because it's a very simple mistake that you can make. But if we start here, that minus 12.1, and obviously if b was minus again, this would actually be positive, because minus minus is going to be equal to positive, plus or minus, then we're going to do 12.1. 1 squared. Now obviously this will be in a calculator, so there's no need to worry about knowing this off the top of your head. Um, minus 4 times by 0 0.6 times by minus 73.6. And then this will be all over 2a, which is going to be 2 times 0.6, which you can work out of the head as 1.2.
So this, I'm not going to simplify it as such. I'm just going to type this in all on my calculator. And I recommend you do exactly the same thing just so you know how to type this in on your calculator. And the answers that you will get there will be that T is going to be equal to 4.89 as 1. And this is when we're adding it. And this is obviously to two decimal places as well. And then when we type in a minus 12.1 minus everything, we're going to get minus 25.06. So those are your two answers. And although this topic may not come up solely on its own, it will often come up uh, as part of a question, which you'll then have to work out using the quadratic formula normally. And if it's a question with lots of decimal places and it's not easy to factorise, definitely look towards using the quadratic formula as it's probably the best way to do it or completing the square as I showed in the last lesson. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye.